This is a miniature beehive, and the top on here is this is a migratory top. You'll see uh, it has a ridge on both ends, and and you'll see the side of it is flush with the hive. We're going to talk today about how much uh, honey your hives need for the winter. Okay, I'm Tim Durham with Durham's Bee Farm, and fall is here, so. How much honey does your hive need for the winter? Uh, a lot of people ask me. Uh, I cannot give you a set figure. Nobody can. There's a lot of variables. Uh, we're in uh, zone 7. And, and some of you are further south, some of you are further north. So let me try to help you uh, kind of come up with an idea of how much you need. If you have uh, uh, one deep brood chamber... Uh, full of honey uh, each frame hold the uh, 10 frames and each frame holds about five pounds so if the hive is full of bees and you have uh, six to seven frames of honey in there then you should be okay uh, uh, like I said there's a lot of variables uh, uh, if, if a winter is too warm they may eat up too much honey. If the winter is too cold, they might not be able to move over and get access to the honey. So you, you, you need at least one deep brood chamber full of bees. We'll say six to f seven frames full of honey. And uh, uh, so generally speaking, uh, let's say that you, ha you have... Uh, uh, equivalent to 50 to 60 pounds of honey then you should be okay practice picking up your hive and see if it's heavy if, if it's if it's if it's if it doesn't feel heavy you probably don't have enough honey in there and uh, uh, if you leave too much on there then uh, next spring they, they they may start laying eggs in those uh, supers that you left on there so there's a lot of variables, but, but hopefully this will help you. And uh, I'm going to get the, the miniature hive and show you something okay. else. This is a miniature beehive. And there's your bottom board. And let's say that, that, let's say that this hive is real strong. In other words, it has a lot of bees in it. Uh, and let's say that, that you have another hive that is weak. That is to say it does not have a lot of bees in it and this is your strong hive you can lay you some metal wire screening on top of it like this then put you a stick on top of the wire then you can put your hive that that does not have a lot of bees in it on top of this and and the, it will really help them make it through the winter big time uh, and put your stick here on top of the wire then set your light hive on top of it and and uh, uh, if you need to feed this this hive on top uh, uh, cut you a piece of plywood three fourths inch thick plywood and and put that plywood let it be the the length and width of the hive Put your plywood on there, cut you a circle in it, so a fruit jar will, will sit in that hole and not fall through. You can use a quart, you can use a gallon, but, but you want to cover it up. You, don't, you do not want the sun to hit it. If the sun hits it, uh, it may cause it to lose vacuum and it drip down on the bees. In my opinion, there's many, many different kinds of, of feeders. And in my opinion, you can't beat this. This is the best, regardless of the time of the year. So I hope this has helped you, and if you have any questions, let me know.